Hey Spuddies, Potato McWhiskey here and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization 6 as the Mali Empire. We're going to go ahead and kick things off by thanking for access once again for giving me access to this preview build. I really appreciate it and I'm so glad that I've been able to bring you guys some Let's Play content on the preview build. Uh, so, let's have a look around here. We will have... What do we want to do in here? There's not really actually a whole lot we can do in here. Let's just grab ancient walls. Oh, that doesn't seem like a very useful... Let's just grab a builder. Builders can always be useful at some point in the game. So we need to start thinking about how we plan to win this game. Um, and perhaps a scientific victory is on the cards here. We haven't really done anything in terms of setting up for a domination victory. I don't really feel like going for a religion victory. And I did a culture victory. So we could either go for, I think, a diplomacy or a science win. And I think either of those is a perfectly viable way to try to win this game. Uh, let's go ahead and chop out this to finish this a little bit quicker. That'll finish cartography for me. So that I don't have to, because I didn't purchase a harbor in Segu last time. And, uh, yeah, uh, make more builders. Settle this city right here. We'll go ahead and immediately improve the horses to give me more access to horses that I can sell. And we'll get a Seguba, but first we'll get the harbor. I could build the harbor there. That would let me put the Seguba there. Harbor right there. We are working on ancient walls. Let's go ahead and get some of these tiles online. Oh, I can't quite do that yet. Uh, and we'll just fortify that spear in there. You need more gold. We'll trade with Eager for 22 gold. Or Eger, I don't know how to say that. Eger. Who knows how to say it? You would like to buy 17 horses. Deal. You may buy 17 horses off me. I could probably get a better deal, but horses are pretty um, out of fashion at this point. I'm hoping to get some niter that I can sell. There's a plus three campus over here. We are going to immediately purchase the library and the university. So we need to save up a bit of gold for that. We got the thingy in here. I could build a bank in 11 turns. Um, I think there's more efficient things to do with my production than that. It is only 11 turns, however. The city does have really good production. So I think in this city and maybe Gao, I will actually build the banks because I can get them in a reasonable amount of turns because these cities have really good production. But in perhaps other cities, I might look to uh, get them in other ways. Okay, I definitely want to get the uni in here. Um, we'll just go ahead and build the temple. It's a relatively cheap building in terms of production. And then in here, we'll build the lighthouse. Now, ideally, I would be purchasing all of these things, but I don't quite have the money or income to do that. We'll chop out that forest, since it's going to be improved anyway. Uh, we don't actually need another tile in here. Well, could use another tile for production and gold. There we go. Put a mine here, get a little bit more adjacency for this industrial zone. Let's get those olives online so that we can have another copy to sell. Let's have you run this way. I'll have my scout move up this way. Or, well, he's a he's a skirmisher now, but he's still technically a scout, right? Come on, I'm, I'm treating him like a scout. So now we have access to Niter. And that gives me plus four Niter per turn. And I'm sure I'll be able to turn that into gold somehow. I'm going to wait till I accumulate a little bit more. Uh, so I really want to get to industrialization. I'm not going to be able to get the kill a unit with a musketman thing. But I can certainly get to industrialization in a reasonable amount of turns. We're going to put a mine there. And do I want to harvest this or do I want to put a plantation on it? I kind of want to get rid of all this jungle. I'll finish the aqueduct. And... Faith purchased the bank. Let's 
It's a way to convert my faith into gold, which is really useful. So I want to get those uh, faith buildings up because it'll allow me to convert more of my faith into gold and other things. Uh, where would I position Moksha now? I think I'm going to position him over in Gen, maybe. I won't really be able, because I'm going to be buying a lot of banks, I won't really have much I can do with him for a while. That'll get that done a little bit quicker. You keep exploring for me. So she's quite happy that I'm friends with some city-states. I'm okay with that. That'll make uh easier to be friends with her. There's cartography. So now the city that was building a caravel. So now this card looks to be pretty interesting. Now that it's plus four gold and plus one faith, that is worth a lot of faith in gold. Is it worth more than these industrial zone adjacencies though? I think golden faith is just so important for my economy that it's worth doing this. Even if I lose out on these really nice production levels. Um, we'll, we'll insert that card back in once we have industrialization and we'll be getting the benefit from coal power plants. So industrial zone there. But let's finish the encampment. Progress towards civil engineering. Let's purchase the university. Want that science. Um, and then let's... <clears throat> um, faith purchase the bank. Oh, I don't have enough. Right. Might be worth it to enhance my religion to get more faith income. Barracks, armory, it'd be a bit of production. Barracks, can't quite get the armory. I'll get the granary to help the city keep growing. We'll grab ancient walls and we're cleaning out some of these old things that we don't want. We can work these delightful mine tiles. Head down here and prove this. Want to buy some niter? Yes. I already have access to dyes. I don't need that. Give me six gold per turn. For these strategics, I'll accept that deal. It's just a nice way to just cycle my... I think that's going to be a core part of my strategy on deity now, is to cycle my resources into more speaking of which i could faith purchase a builder but i want to faith purchase banks it's a way to convert my gold into faith or my faith into gold rather and then a district we have a holy site we have a saguba which is a commercial hub would like a campus in here Perhaps I could go for a... An entertainment district wouldn't be terrible. Just grab one of those for two amenities, because I am starting to run into amenity troubles in some of my cities, namely here. So if I got this up, it would help out a little bit. Although I really do want a campus in there, but it is near Pop 10, so we'll be able to get that anyway. Oh, hello. Very nice. So we can get uh, Ignore Hill Movement. Very useful. There is Leventa. This is the sort of city-state we were looking for. Right. Uh, now that we have access to them, we'll go up to level 2 with them. I do really, really want to go all the way up. Uh, but what this is going to allow me to do is create a lot more faith in my empire. See, now we're making 210, and that'll go up even more as I start maybe force uh, getting more of these temples and stuff. But finding this is pretty critical. In fact, we might even want to check out what their mission is. Religious conversion, that's going to be tough to pull off. Probably never going to pull that off. Um, I could pull it off, but it would cost me a lot of faith. Faith that is useful elsewhere. Uh, 
I'd rather be working these tiles. Uh, yep, there's 25 gold per turn on that trade route. We have two build charges in here. I'll send you over to Pex. Keep exploring. Doesn't have enough food, more amenities, housing issues. Yeah, we're trying to work on all that stuff. We'll chop here to get that builder a little bit quicker, mainly to put a mine on this tile because the mine is worth more. Uh, you wanna buy my horses. I'll sell you the horses, that sounds fair. Give me stuff I don't really need. I have a thousand gold. University is already in here. Let's go ahead and get the shrine and the temple in here. Can I faith purchase something? I could faith purchase the aqueduct, but I don't really want to. I could faith purchase the Gurdwara. Let's have a look at the old religion screen. Meeting house is gone. Watt is gone. Synagogue is gone. Gurdwara is gone and pagodas are gone. I could get the stupa, which would give me amenities. Um, so I think that would be worth it. Let's get an apostle. Which is I want to purchase banks right now. Ten population city, so we'll put an a campus over. Here is where I want to put it, so we won't place it quite yet. Let's buy that tile. Kick that city-state unit out. I would have really liked to have placed it here, but unfortunately. Just the way the cookie crumbled. Let's get the temple and the arena in here. And I'm just going to crush this tile. I don't care that much for the rainforest. Right there. Alright, we're doing some good exploration. Hopefully finding more city-states. Uh, I want to get this caravel eventually. I was hoping to get a little bit sooner, but it is what it is. Armory here. Let's get the armory for the plus two production. That'll help us get the industrial zone up a little bit quicker. And you... Could actually run up here and convert Leventa with this promotion. Let's give it a try. Let you walk all that way, and we'll buy another one. See if we can house the religion then. So now Jen has some better tiles. I'm going to unlock these and let it kind of choose its own. Oh, yes. Nazca. Oh, Nazca is really good, actually, because of their unique um, improvement. The plus one faith to all adjacent tiles. It's great. It's amazing for desert. I'll show you a little bit more. Um, well, I guess I'll show you right now. Plus one faith to all, all adjacent tiles with the resource. Plus one food to adjacent desert and desert hill tiles after discovering civil service. And plus one production to flat tiles after researching mass production. Plus one appeal cannot be can only be built on flat desert. And this tile, this tile cannot be worked. Huh. Interesting. I didn't realize that. But it can make, um, for example. If I were to place a bunch of Nazca lines around here, for example, it would make all of these mines much, much nicer. Oh, I have a, uh, I have a builder in the area. Could you get over there? Now, I do have the climate on the maximum level, but I haven't really actually been seeing a whole lot. I did play another game as the, as the Mali on a smaller map, and there was a lot more um, volcanic activity. It's going to be hurting our science income, but that's okay. We made that sacrifice. Aqueduct completed in here. Um, I do want another trader, and it is in Valata because it's the most consistent trading point that I have. Could I get another one? No, just the one. Almost have a spy that I can start using to generate gold, and I would maybe have a look here. 
who is making the most gold? You're making 200 and something. Uh, make a deal. 100 and something. Might be the Maori, honestly. Maori or Dido. So it's the Maori or Dido that I want to send my spies to. Now, the other flip side of it is I could send it to Matthias because he already hates me, but he has no gold income. So that's fine. All uh, right. Aqueduct completed in here. Let's see. What could we build? Really, we're kind of waiting for the city to grow a bit. So let's have a look at what tiles it's working. We definitely want to work that. Definitely want to work that. Definitely want to work that. That. And that. So it's really just kind of just slowly growing. Um, its food surplus is fairly low. It has no penalty. I guess it just has low food and it just grew anyway. So we will just grab a builder in here because the city could always use builders. <clears throat> Translator is really good, but... We are going to evangelize. See if we can pick up something for extra faith generation. I like scripture. So either the Dar a Mer, because we are currently in the um, Renaissance era and there are one two three four five more errors so potentially a lot more faith i think though the extra amenity just kind of boosts everything so it's a little bit better now i can get stupas although stupas are a little bit inefficient in terms of converting production into faith so i probably just build them the normal way we're also about to get the grand master's chapel so we can faith purchase units if we need to uh and we'll go here and so this this might exp hopefully uh the amount of stuff that i have to spend my faith on is hopefully going to explain why i didn't go for uh purchasing the um the purchasing of campus and theater square buildings with with um with faith because i'm going to make so much money anyway that i'm better off just purchasing other stuff uh so we're going to purchase that and you're going to hard build a stupa let's get the shrine and the temple Get our faith income up. The city can build another district. I think an industrial zone wouldn't be out of order here. It would be plus three industrial zone, which isn't amazing, but nor is it bad. I could also get a campus uh, right there. And that would eventually be a plus two campus. This entertainment complex is a little bit too close to this one for me to really consider it. Um... So I think campus is the move right here. I want to get my science up now. And we're going to promote Reina with tax collector. Get a little bit more gold. Soon, soon we will be able to purchase uh, things with gold as well. So we'll be able to skyrocket our cities along. We'll be basically just moving Reina and Moksha around constantly to uh, faith purchase these things. This city is about to grow to pop 10, and I think it'll be a harbor or a campus in here. We'll have to see about that. Now, I think it was these guys. Oh, 1,000 gold. So we're definitely going to be stealing from him. Uh, this trade route is 24 gold. Okay, let's have a look at what this city is working. Some Nazcas in here would be good. Let's see. Construct a theater square. I might honestly do that because getting suzerainty of Nazca is so important for me because I have so much desert that I can make use of, his, of its uh, unique ability with. Um, so let's do... Do what? Some farms would help this city sort of neutralize its... Um, growth problems. I don't want to faith purchase builders. I will regular purchase them instead. Keep scouting for me. You want to buy this. I will accept that deal. I'll be able to sell some niter soon. I have almost 70 in stockpile now. Oh, sorry, I have the ability to store 70. Ooh, hopefully this isn't on me, is it? No. A common mistake that people make when trying to design. 
there's that. There might be a special session called for that natural disaster because it looks like it was a pretty rough one. Uh, choose civ civic. We just got civil engineering. Urbanization will be good. I think neighborhoods could be really useful this game. Ooh, access to toys. What's the next guy? Interesting. So this will give me some more amenities, which is great. Uh, we have completed an encampment over here. We'll get to work on the walls. And I'll purchase a barracks and an armory in here. To get these cities being able to produce units rapidly if I need them to. Uh, so that was my builder policy card is being replaced. So we'll keep working on that. You are going to... Just lay down some farms for this city. Keep exploring. Oh, right, you need to move. So I think I can embark now. I'm going to send you back over to this coastline. Uh, my spearman now is going to go check out the other continent because there's still some people I need to meet. You're going to repair that. I want to repair the science before I do the faith. You go put a farm there. And um, I can faith purchase another district in here. And I think I'm going to do a theater square. Just for the sake, although I really want to do a campus in here. Right there would be a good one. Um, I th think it would be worth it to just get a theater square. Right there is fine. It is a hill, but I have plenty of hills and that'll get me a thingy with Nazca and then the quest will refresh in a few turns when the era flips over. I need a little bit more era score, so I might purchase some great people um, with gold. For example, well, I might just try to purchase some great people with gold or faith. I think that's a good move. So there's even more Niter. And a boost towards rifling. Because if I purchase some of these guys, I'll get some era score. Oh, you want to sell me coal? I don't want your coal. I'll take more of your gold. I'll give you an, just all of this. You give me 16 gold per turn. What if it was just 20? Would you still give me 16 gold per turn if it was just 20? So it looks like you have a maximum amount you want to buy. Seems reasonable. So I want to sell them in, in chunks of 20 to get the best value, it seems like. That's a good little yeah, learning tip that we just picked up there. Uh, I just want to grab whoever I can. Because you get error score from earning those guys. Uh, or using gold to purchase them. How can I get more error score? I'm trying to think. Uh, musketman. If I upgraded to a musketman, how fast could I get a musketman? Let's see. Three turns. Is there another unit I could get? I think the musketman or the frigate. I'd need two more nighter. I think I could do the musketman upgrade a little cheaper. Um, error score, error score, error score. So I think... Upgrading a musketman and purchasing a great person will get me enough. Maybe. It's going to be close. So we'll have to see. We've got five turns left, so this should work. New opinions are right, there's the enlightenment. And you Question is, is free market better? I don't think so. Not yet. Not until my cities are over pop five, 10. Um, so the era score thing. Contractor. Now I can get. Now I can purchase districts at Reina and Moksha. So I can convert my faith and gold into production at will. Ooh, an aqueduct here. It's not terrible actually. Um. Right. Let me think about this.
if I purchase this... That's going to give me three error score. And then if I upgrade a unit after gunpowder, that should give me enough to get another golden age. Great. Okay. Um, definitely want to purchase a library in here. Hard build a stupa. You head over this way. Put some mines down. Nice volcanic soil here. You just wait. It sounded like a threat. You just wait. <laughs> All right, we discovered a new continent. Didn't quite get the era score pyramids. Kotuku. Maybe building a couple of wonders could be good. But I'm pretty sure I can get this golden age. No, leave me alone. Go to the water, quick, run. Uh, we got the bank in here. Let's get the stupa. One more turn. I know it's not an S, but for some reason in my brain that it's a it's a it's a stupa, not a stupa. Maybe I'm saying it wrong. Who knows? Uh, bank, bank. Okay, cool. Our gold income is up to eight hundred and thirty-three. Statue of Liberty. We'll grab me a builder. Can't quite purchase the market. Do I want an aqueduct? Yeah, build the aqueduct. And you. means I can use industrial zones to culture bomb, which could have a use. I want to siphon gold, but first I want to do this. I think I can get another spy already. No, I get that at nationalism, right. So here, chop to get that done. There's Pachacuti the cutie. It's an honor to meet you, my friend. And I think... Yeah, we just... We will get the Golden Age. So we'll go ahead and secure the Golden Age for the next era. Which is going to be really, really important. Because that's when our gold income is going to skyrocket. Oh, you want to give me the Annunciation? You'd probably just take this. Yeah, I mean, like... I don't know why you're trying to buy my thingies for. He won't sell that. Hell yeah, I'll take the Annunciation. It's a free great work. No, thank you. So we finish gunpowder. Man is a military animal. Then we upgrade this. That gets us the 97 okay nice so there we are we have secured the golden age for the next era and that's going to be really important because we're going to be taking the reform the coinage benefit which is going to give us so much gold for trading with coupe it's going to give us so much gold for trading with coupe i'm surprised coupe didn't settle up around here there's lots of room for it um you know even if these cities aren't amazing i'm curious to see if he's also settled on this other continent or if he just kind of like decided yep this is where i'm settling um, but I'm going to call that the end of this episode. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. Please remember to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Remember to leave a like if you want to directly support my channel. And remember to leave a comment if you want to give me your feedback. Other than that, I want to say I love you all very much. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.